So ladies and gentlemen, we are addressing a very important question today, which I got in the comments. Should I do business or should I be self-employed or should I have a job? Which one? <laughs> These three are uh, very crucial because um, without knowing this, uh, you cannot identify the growth of a person. Even dashas are useless because suppose there is a, a good dasha which is running, then you tell the person, okay, you have a promotion for career. Then what if the promotion doesn't happen? If the person is supposed to start his or her own uh, business or self-employment. So how you distinguish, how do you differentiate between uh, these three? All right, so let's discuss in short as usual. And if you are new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it below. And if you consult, uh, want a consultation uh, from me regarding your career or self employment work or your business, you can go to my website down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him and He will help you set up your own business. <laughs> so uh, nowadays, uh, people say that these four houses of money the second six tenth and eleven so they will say if the tenth lord is in the tenth it's good for business they will say the tenth lord uh, is in the sixth it's good for job no it's not like this whenever you are talking of job or business or self-employment you have to understand you have to ignore the dashas temporarily for, for time being keep the dashas aside although dashas are very important but first you have to check the entire horoscope and in this case i cannot stress enough how important it is to judge the entire horoscope because if you do not judge all the planets then if you just check the dashas and say okay the next 30 years this is there in line so you should be like this you should do this it will end up in a disaster so of course when you are giving a prediction or if suppose somebody already has a job and the person is asking when will i have ups and downs then you can use dashas more but in this case if the person is asking should i resign from my job and i should open my business or my self-employment my consultancy and all then you must check uh, the entire horoscope all the nine planets you must check majority of the whole majority of the planets and within the nine planets at the least uh, in my opinion four or five planets should indicate uh, certain factors if the person is wanting to do business or self-employment now for job there is no specific rule or specific requirement i mean it's it, it's normal for jobs you just check the dashas okay but of course you also need to check the horoscope to see what level of uh, status will this person have but if exclusively it's only about job if a person says oh i have stayed in job for last 15 years and i want to continue being in a job then check the dashas it does the work okay but now if a person is 25 years and the person wants to make a decision or even 30, 35, then how do you check for business and self-employment? So first of all, you must check what is the inclination of the person. Okay, so that means you should check uh, planets like sun, moon, and then you have to check the ascendant lord. Uh, are they having link with the fire signs like Aries and then Leo then Sagittarius because fire signs will show creation doing something new okay and especially among these three I have seen Aries is very important where is Mars Sun and Mars are very important because remember these two get directional strength in the 10th house so if somebody has a, a well-placed quote-unquote Sun and Mars then it's very conducive for self-employment or business now when i say well placed you have to be very careful in judging things because whenever i say something then what people will do is they will say oh this billionaire has a debilitated mars this millionaire has a mars in the star all right so mars is terrible it's fake you are spreading fake news here <laughs> so there are more than 10 to 12 factors in astrology so whenever you say 
Mars is good, you have to back it up with 10 or more factors, you know. For example, you know, for career, when you say Mars is good, you have to check the house, you have to check uh, the dispositor of Mars, you have to check the sign, then you have to check uh, which planets are affecting Mars, okay, which means which planets are aspecting Mars, which planets Mars is conjunct with. Then you have to check the Ashtak Varga. Then you must check the Navam Shachar. Then you must check the Dasham Shachar. Right? It's very important. Then at the end, you have to see where is the overall flow of the horoscope. That is the ninth factor which I told you. That will tell you is Mars good or bad ultimately. Because Mars may be good, but it may be uh, opposite. It may be opposing the flow of the horoscope. Then Mars is a terrible planet for that horoscope. Okay. So therefore, just because somebody has a Mars in Cancer and debility or Mars in Dustan, 6, 8, 12, do not just say Mars is bad. Okay, there are many factors. I just named nine factors and then there is Shadbal also which you have to consider. Then there is Vimshopakbal which you consider. So these are the things which you should consider while analyzing a planet. So when you consider all these, especially for Sun and Mars, then... Uh, you can say the probability that this person can take up some new initiatives is more. And then you have to check the uh, strength of the 10th house and the 5th house. The 5th house is very important because our 5th house is the house of uh, motivation because to become an entrepreneur, there's a lot of motivation which is required. You know? I mean, you have to be self-motivated. You have to be ready to work more. Um, job can give you... Uh, like eight hours of a job can give you some money, but uh, if you want to become an entrepreneur, you might have to work, you know, maybe even 10 hours a day. So are you ready to put in that effort, that hard work? So the fifth house and the 10th house has to be somehow linked or they should be very strong. And now, see, starting something and becoming an entrepreneur is one thing. Okay? But being successful in that line is another story. Okay, so therefore, if a person asks that should I become an entrepreneur or not, then you have to check all these things. But if a person asks you, will I be successful, which eventually uh, the person will end up asking you, of course, because nobody wants to start something to fail, right? Then the most, most, most crucial thing, the most important thing which you need to check is which there how many planets does this person have which is linked with the nakshatra lords of the 10th and the 11th lord okay. very 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 crucial this is very 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 crucial because ultimately success will come only from these two houses name fame power position money resources it will come from these two houses so therefore if you are taking example of an aries ascendant then 10th and 11th Lord is Saturn. So how many planets are sitting in Saturn ruled nakshatras? Which are the nakshatras ruled by Saturn? It's Pushya nakshatra first in Cancer in the 4th house for Aries. Then Anuradha is in the 8th house. Then you have Uttar Bhadrapada, Pisces 12th house for Aries. So you have to check uh, how many planets are there in these 3 nakshatras. Or suppose an Aries ascendant has Sun and Mercury in the 10th house or has Venus in the 11th. So then if planets are placed in the nakshatras or with the Sun, Mercury, Venus, they can also uh, give massive success. Okay. So therefore, uh, you must check these placements and then you go to the Rashas. Now there's some contradiction, suppose. The overall horoscope is very good. It's indicating these placements. And... Now, suppose the dashas are not indicating good houses. Which are the difficult houses? It's the 6th, 8th, and the 12th. Okay? Unanimously, there is no argumentation on this. The dustanas, they rip you off all resources. Okay? They are the houses which take from you. They don't give, they take. <laughs> so, if the planets are somehow linked, if the Mahadasha Lord, so suppose the person has started, you know, any Mahadasha, maybe Rahu Mahadasha, then Jupiter Mahadasha, and then Saturn Mahadasha. And suppose Jupiter, Saturn, Rahu, these three are back to back. And Jupiter, uh, I mean Rahu, Jupiter, and Saturn, these are back to back Mahadasha. And they are indicating uh, not so good houses by nakshatras and by placements, they are not very good, or they are not linked with these money houses. 
then what do you suggest? Then it's a very difficult uh, situation because the person wants to be self-employed, but uh, it's better for that person to do a job. Okay. So for that person, you can suggest that have a full-time job or a part-time job which pays your bills and on the side you have some side income that's like passive income or secondary source of income okay but if the dashas are also supportive and the overall horoscope matches with these factors which i said then bang on person can go into self-employment or business or something like this and if the seventh house is ex exclusively linked during dashas and uh, in these planets then a person can have collaborations, you know, do business at a big scale and all this. But it's not just the seventh house. You know, the seventh house won't do much unless the tenth house and the eleventh house are linked, because ultimately these two other houses, uh, these two houses uh, give you massive wealth and uh, big things in life. Okay, not the sixth house, not the seventh house. Many people keep arguing. 10th lord in 7th, business, 10th lord in 6th, job. No, it's fake, it's stupid, it's useless, it doesn't work. Or 6th lord in 10th, job, 7th lord in 10th, business. No, it doesn't work like this. Okay, Because you have to understand, when you are talking of job or business, you are talking of around 10 to 12 hours of a person's life. It's like half of the time of the day. It's more than half actually, it's like whole day. <laughs> So do you think one simple placement is enough to justify that? No, it is not. So the best case scenario is most of the planets are linked with the Nakshatra Lords or the 10th or the 11th Lord. That is the best case scenario. Okay. Or at the least, um, they are linked with either the 10th or the 11th. In that case, also that could be good, but that the, then the person may not rise to an exponential level. Because the highest level of raise comes when the 10th and the 11th are uh, both indicated. Okay. Otherwise, the person will be an entrepreneur or have business or self-employment, whatever you call it. And the person will grow, not the person won't grow, but uh, it won't be exponential growth. You know, it will be like linear, linear and exponential. <laughs> So 10th house will give you linear growth, good growth, very good growth, fast growth. But 11th house gives you exponential growth, okay? So it all depends on what the client wants and what that client is asking from you. Do you of course, every client would want an exponential growth, but there are many clients who say that we want a peaceful life, you know, stable, self-employed work with this much money and then we are fine with that. So for them, the 10th house works. But if somebody says, you know, I want to just eat, sleep, eat money, sleep with money and you know, drink money. So for them, the 11th house is required. All right. That will be all from my side. If you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your business or job or consultancy or whatever it is, <laughs> you can also go to my website below to move a consultation. All right. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find it.